Welcome to the Excel tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Gallium OS. Gallium OS is a fast and lightweight Linux distribution for Chrome OS devices. Gallium OS is based on the Xubuntu. It is basically developed for performance and compatibility on Chromebooks. You can replace the kernel with a different version and install development tools. It has a faster boot up time than the other Linux distribution. It provides the touchpad experience similar to the Chrome OS. Now we can see the installation of Gallium OS. First you need to download the Gallium OS ISO image file from the Gallium OS official site. After downloading the ISO image, make a bootable DVD or a pen drive and make it boot. After booting, you will see the following screen. Now give the Gallium OS live image and installer. Now we can see the install Gallium OS icon here. Double click the icon. Now the installation is started. Now select the language and click continue. And if you want to install the third party software for the graphics and other media, you can select this and click continue. Now we need to select the installation type. I'm going to select the something else to create the manual partition. Now click continue. First you need to create the new partition table. Now click the new partition table and click continue. Now the partition table is created. Now select the free space and click add to add the new partition. I am going to give 300 MB for the boot partition. Now select the mount point as slash boot and click OK. Now select the free space to create the next partition. Now click add and give size for the swap partition. I am giving 2 GB for the swap partition. This swap partition should be the double the size of RAM. I'm using 1 GB of RAM, so I'm giving 2 GB for the swap partition. Now select the type of partition is primary and use as you need to select the swap area and click OK. And next we can create the root partition. Now click add and select the type of partition is primary. And I'm going to give 18 GB for the root partition. Now select the mount point as slash and click OK. And after creating the partitions, now click install now. Now we need to click continue to write changes to the disk. Now select the location and click continue. And we need to select the keyboard layout and click continue. Now we need to create the users for the system. I'm giving user 1. And you need to enter the host name for the system, Linux self. And enter the password for the user and click continue. Now it is copying files. This will take some time. Now the installation is completed. Now click restart now. Now we can see the Gallium OS login screen. Now enter the username that is user1. Now give enter. And now enter the password for the user. Now the Gallium OS is successfully installed. Now here you can see the start menu. And you can see your favorite applications here. And you can see the all the applications. You can change the appearance here. And the icons and fonts. You have the Pidgin Internet Messenger and Pulse Audio Volume Controller. Also have the Task Manager to see what are the processes that are running. And you can stop here or kill the process that you need. You have the VLC Media Player. And you can change the desktop background using the desktop setting. And you have the whole, all the settings here. You can customize your Gallium OS here. Gallium OS is successfully installed. Thank you for watching.